Hi, my name is Abel, Principal Cloud Advocate, specializing in DevOps. And today I have with me Alex. How's it going, Alex? Hey, Abel. Um, my name is Alex Frankel. I'm a PM on the Azure deployments team. So you were telling me earlier, you all have some new tooling for ARM, right? And specifically, embedding scripts within your ARM templates? Yeah, so there's all these sorts of what we call last mile scenarios for your ARM templates that yeah. represent the a, a new instantiation of an environment or an application that you want to be in your ARM template, yeah. but previously you've had to find some other means of executing that script, and there's a, a variety of ways to do that. Um, and so what we've done is created this new resource type for your ARM templates called deployment scripts mm -hmm. that lets you run arbitrary Azure PowerShell or Azure CLI code in your template deployment. Cool. Yeah. Can you show me? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Um, so we're going to look at this ARM template, and we'll see that I have a new resource type here called deployment scripts. Mm -hmm. um, it has all the normal stuff like any other resource. It has a name, an API version, a location. And then I see something interesting here for the first time, which is kind. This can be Azure PowerShell or Azure CLI. Ah, OK. In the background, when you create a new deployment script, we're actually going to spin up an Azure container instance and a storage account. And this kind, Azure PowerShell, combined with this property called the Azure PowerShell version, dictates uh, which container image we're actually going to run this on. Okay. And so if I, as I go through here, I have a few other properties of what this deployment script is going to do. One is the identity. So we use um, uh, managed service identities um, to execute this deployment script. It. Today it's user assigned. We're eventually going to support system assigned as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm passing in the, system, uh, the user assigned identity that I want to deploy with. Okay. And then I have the properties that you would expect. So I have the primary script URI. This is actually going to get a script that I have in GitHub and deploy that, which is going to create a cert in uh, Key Vault. This is one of the things that I just cool. can't do in an ARM template today. If I wanted to, if it was a small script, mm -hmm. I could actually pa pass this inline uh, instead of calling an external file. But it's up Got to it. you what you'd like to do. And then you have an argument string. This is a normal space separated argument string that you would expect to see in PowerShell. Mm -hmm. And then I have a few other interesting properties here. One is timeout, which is when the, the script will stop if it's uh, not stopping on its own. I have the retention interval. So deployment scripts is actually a resource that will clean, itself, clean up after itself. Mm -hmm. So deployment scripts, the resource itself, you don't really need it after it's executed. Right. So you can determine when it will actually delete itself. Uh, we'll keep the logs around until it deletes. So if you want to look at it and do debugging, you can. Okay. But eventually, we'll clean it up after itself. Cool. And then the last one is something called cleanup preference. So in the background, I said earlier, we're spinning up ACI and a storage account. Uh, this property dictates when we delete those resources as well. I leave this as on success so that if the deployment script executes successfully, I don't need any of those underlying resources anymore. But if it fails, then I might say, I actually want to log into the container and see what happened. So mm -hmm. this enables me to do more advanced debugging. Cool. And then the last property which I've commented out here is the force update tag. Mm -hmm. So I get to choose kind of the item potency and the, the behavior of this script. So mm -hmm. If I add a force update tag, this mm -hmm. script will re-execute every single time. If I don't want it to re-execute because it's doing something only one time, mm -hmm. I don't have to include the force update tag. So you have all the kind of knobs and levers you need to, to design the script to execute as you need it. Great. So we'll kick this off. Let me clear this out. Okay. So I'm going to kick off a deployment, and I'm going to run this template. Okay. This is going to take a minute or two, so I'm going to uh, take the turkey out of the oven, so to speak, and we'll look at a, a script that just executed recently and okay. see what uh, information I have when that script executes. Okay. So on the overview of the deployment script um, pane in the portal, mm -hmm. I get the actual standard out of the script executing. Okay. So this, I, I said I want to output the certificate. Um, in this case, the cert already existed, so it didn't mm -hmm. have to create it. Just grabbed the latest and printed it out. Okay. Uh, I can also see the outputs. So I actually outputted the cert thumbprint. And let okay. me actually go to the template and show why that's important. So just like any other resource, mm -hmm. I can actually uh, emit outputs in the script mm -hmm. and use that later on in my template deployment. So if I want to grab the cert thumbprint or an IP range or anything like that as like a pre-step with my script, yeah. I can then give it to the rest of my template deployment to do whatever I want with it. Got it. So I have standard outputs that I would use in any other uh, resource type, mm -hmm. and I see that output represented here. Got it. 
And then the last one is the content and the input. So if I'm coming to the script later and I want to see what script was actually executed, what parameters were passed to it, mm -hmm. we store all that information in the deployment script itself so you can look at it whenever you need. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome, awesome stuff. So this right here, now we have the ability to run scripts, right? Yeah, exactly. So you really should be able to do, you know, you can do that last thing that you would otherwise had to find some other tool with, and now you can do it right in the template. Man, thank you so much for showing us. This has been great stuff. Awesome. Thanks, Abel. Thank you.